Hello everyone, this is Gururu, a Korean TFT challenger player. Today, I'm gonna start out with a belt. So in today's video, we're gonna learn about how to play your strongest board in each and every battle. And it's a very situational thing, so I'll try to explain as much as possible. So recently, there has been a big patch, and a lot of the reroll comps got nerfed, except for the Nidalee comp. Which means that to learn how to play your strongest board in every situation and with the units you're given is very important. So right now, it doesn't look like we can start off with a winning streak. Because we don't have a lot of pairs or any 2 star units at the moment. Let's play the Vanguard for now. As for the first carousel item, I really recommend the uh, chain vest, mainly because you can build it into a sunfire cape, a bramble vest, or a gargoyle. Any items that are really good for your early game. But uh, looking at our items now, it doesn't look like we can win streak early, so we might have to start off with a losing streak early on and try to come back in the mid game. Silver and Katarina. Okay, this is very good because we have a Quicksilver for Katarina. Okay, a Chosen Elise. So a lot of people don't really like this Chosen Elise, but we're gonna buy it anyways. My main reason behind buying this is first of all, we needed like a tank unit and Elise can do a good job for doing that. And for the other reason is that we can immediately put the Cultist Synergy in, which is very good early game. So I'm trying to play my strongest board. Another reason why this Keeper Chosen Elise is really good is because we can also play into a Katarina composition. We have the items for Katarina as well. So it's always important that you have a reasoning behind your each and every decision. Here I'm going to level up, put in the Tristana, mainly for the Sharpshooter synergy. So on the bench, I'm still going to keep the Katarina because I don't know what items I can build into and the second carousel. So you just hold on to all your carry units at the moment. Nice, we have a Tristana 2 star. Okay, this means since our carry line, uh, we can go with a sharpshooter composition and synergy. So I'm probably going to sell all these units that I don't need on the bench. So the main reason is my Tristana is 2 star and I'm building sharpshooter, but my Sivir is also a cultist unit. And so since I'm playing my composition around cultist and sharpshooter, I sell all these units I don't need and try to save econ as soon as possible. So to wrap up our early game, we started out with vanguards, but when I got the chosen Elise, I chose to create my front line with the cultist and keeper Elise. And to constantly play our strongest board, we want to make items that we can make immediately and any items that are really good early on. So I'm probably going to go for a chain vest to create a sunfire cape. Okay, very nice. So here, I want to constantly play my strongest board. I'm going to level up. And I want to play one more unit. Since our front line is a little bit weak, I'm going to play the drive-in and create the sunfire cape. I could have also played the Teemo, but since I could make the Sunfire Keep on Driven and works well with Driven, that's why I played it. Purely based on my starting items, I probably could have win streak, but I still try to play my strongest board early on, and that's why I'm on a winning streak at the moment. Okay, let's pick up the Nidalee pair, and I'm gonna sell the Janna for uh, 20 gold econ. So it's really important that you constantly think about what kind of units you can play to upgrade your board and to make it stronger. And currently I'm playing Cultist, I'm playing Keeper, I'm playing Sharpshooters. So you try to pick up any of these units when you get them in the shop. As long as you're not hurting your Econ and your cash flow, then it's all fine. Very nice, we're on a 5 game winning streak. Nidalee 2 star, very nice. Let's also pick up the Drive and Pair. We got a Bow. A BF Sword. Okay, we got some pretty good items. Sell the driver for Econ, 30 gold. So since Jarvan isn't like one of the main synergies, I'm just valuing the gold and Econ over it. I'm gonna level up here and play 4 sharpshooters. I've always reinforced that if you are on a winning streak until like 3-1, you wanna just level up 3-1 and just play your strongest board. Give the Sunfire Cape to Pike. I'm also gonna make my items here. I'm gonna give Runan's Hurricane to Sivir. So I have another option here, I can make like a Giant Slayer here or Infinity Edge. I made the Ai here because Ai is a lot stronger item in the early game. Giant Slayer is a lot better in the late game, but since I'm playing like my strongest board early, that's why I'm playing the Ai. Also, Severe can critical strike 
better than any other sharpshooter units. That's why IE is very good on her. So some people might wonder like, why didn't you play drive-in? You need to reinforce your front line. However, uh, back to our original idea, always playing your strongest board is the most important thing. And since two sharpshooters to four sharpshooter synergy is a big, big upgrade. And also I invested my items on sharpshooters. That's why four sharpshooters is a lot stronger. However, I do have to start thinking about upgrading my front line. So we can try to play uh, like four keepers. That's an option. We can, since we have a Yumi on the bench, we can also play two mystic. There's a lot of uh, good options at the moment. We'll see what we get. So at the moment, we're using the Chosen Elise. It's a one cost Chosen. However, it's helping us win streak. So if you're win streaking with it and it's like a core synergy, like for us right now, it's a Keeper and it's a Cultist, you don't have to swap it out. You can just constantly use it until you're level nine or eight. So it's really important that you don't always think about changing your core Chosen unit. I took the belt here, mainly because we need some front line. I could build it into ZZ Rot, but we have a Lantern. Let's see what we get. Okay, we have a BF sword. Since we're playing sharpshooters to gain some more attack speed, I'm gonna build the uh, Zeke's Herald. And let's give it to Dristana. So leveling up to seven at three five could have been an option. The opponent did level up to seven, but I didn't have any like units to put in to really strengthen my board, so I didn't level up. So to go back to my point about swapping out your chosen in the mid game, if you don't have like a good reason to swap it or if you have enough money to like strengthen your board to look for a new chosen, it's a very risky play. So when you have items on your chosen tank frontline or if you have enough money, that's when you try to switch out your chosen unit. A level up here, add one more frontline, not losing too much gold. And put the netherly on the opposite side because it can draw some aggro, like so. It's a very good like positioning tip uh, in the early and mid game. Okay, we got a belt and a chain vest. Oh, we got a sever. Okay, I'm gonna level up to eight and play four keepers, strengthen my front line, and I'm just gonna use this Nico's help onto the sever to make it two star. Essentially, it's equivalent to like a four cost. 2 star power. I made a ZZ rod to strengthen the front line and the main reason for leveling up is I want to strong play my strongest board and continue with my winning streak and I also had units to upgrade my synergy like 4 keeper. Okay very good we're maintaining our winning streak. So when you're trying to play your strongest board and you're trying to like fast 8 or fast 9 it's very important that you still complete like your basis of your composition because if you don't upgrade units and you don't have a base core synergy, it's going to be really hard to go to level 8, level 9 because your health is going to be low. But right now we're on an 11 game winning streak, our health is very healthy, we're, we're at 100 HP. So it's important that you constantly look to find ways to play your strongest board. But we lost here, it's fine. Oh, we got Samira. Okay, let's play the Samira over the Tristana, put the Zeke's on the Teemo. So the best thing is probably to give the items on Sever to the Samira, but we can't do that at the moment since Sivir is 2 star. But the best thing is to have full items on both Sivir as well as the Samira. So that's what we're going to try to go for. And it's important to note that when you're like rushing A or rushing 9, you have like full items on your carry units. Here we can go for the Aatrox for the Bramble Vest, or we can also go for the Recurve Bow and give Samira some items. Another option is to build a Titan Resolve and give it to the Sivir because we built uh, IE on it and IE is a very good synergistic item with Titan's Resolve. It's also a sharpshooter so with the buff with the bounces it can get the gain stacks on the Titan Resolve really really fast. As you can see it's already full stack right now and it's doing insane amount of damage. So IE and Titan Resolve, very good synergy. So the most important thing about this game is like starting out with the Chosen Elise that we didn't skip it and decided to use it. So people that don't have experience of using the Elise might not have played the board around it, but we played our strongest board around this Elise and that's what carried us into this late game and our HP is super healthy as well. 
Also, the thing to note is we didn't play like the best best items on Sivir. Like the best is probably RFC, Quicksilver, and like a Runans. But we built our items on Sivir based on what we were given and any items that do still work well with her. So like Tatter's Resolve usually is uh, known to be working well with like a frontline. But since we built the IE on Sivir early game to play like our strongest board, I just put the Titans on Sivir as well. So since we're in a very good spot, I'm gonna try to go level 9 at 5-5, five five, try to upgrade my board then. Right now everyone else is like upgrading their board. Uh, like so, like this person is like totally changed the composition. So from now on out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to pick up all the 5 cost units in the shop and slowly change our board as well. And 4 sharpshooters is gonna fall off starting from round 5, stage 5. So we're going to slowly change it into like a mystic composition or any legendary units that we get. So for example, we're playing Keeper now, so we can swap out like a certain Keeper unit for a Zer. Or if we get like a 2 star Zillion, we can play Zillion for Mystic and Cultist. So we're going to take it slow, step by step. Alright, this guy's Duelist and he got some pretty good items on the Jacks. We're still in a good spot to win here. Damn, but with all this dodges. Can we win here? It's almost dead. Wait. Oh my god, this Jax is OP. Oh, we have an Aatrox in the shop. We can play over the Pike, but I'm just gonna keep the Pike mainly because uh, we can try to get Slayer Synergy with the Samira later on. And uh, Slayer Synergy is very good when you don't have any healing items on the Slayer units. What Slayer Synergy does, it heals your units when you're attacking. And when you don't have any other Synergy player, Slayer is very good for Samira. But basically, like just having two Sharpshooters is enough for her as well. Okay, this guy's super strong. And we can't kill it because of the Bramble Vest, so we're going to look for Yonate later on to defeat this deck. Okay, a lot of good items on this carousel. I'm happy with almost like any item here. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the Bloodthirster. We can give it to Samira. So my plan now is to go level 9 and roll down. And any like 4 cost, 5 cost units in the shop, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna skip this Lee Sin because it's not very good unless I have a blue buff. I'm not going to pick up this Aatrox, I'm going to try to look for like a Chosen Legendary. We don't pick up the Sejuani, because it's a 4 cost Chosen. Orn is very good, because it increases the value of your composition when it makes an item. So the main thing about your level 9 rolldown is you want to pick up any 4 cost as well as 5 cost units. And you want to play units that become 2 star first. That way your board is a lot stronger that way and you want to upgrade your compositions. You're not just like swapping out your entire team in one go. So anything that you're given, you play it first. So for example, if Aatrox was 2 star, I probably would have played in the last match and not played the Sejuani if it was just 1 star. Okay, we're given the Yone. Uh, we really need it because against the Bramble Vest op opposition. Let's play it here. So the main thing about Yone here is since I don't have a Last Whisper on any of my Sharpshooter units, uh, I need it for armor reduction. Damn, this Warlord is super strong. I'm gonna keep the set to counter it later stage in the game. What set does, it ults and does more damage to units with more health. Okay, we pick up these legendary units and slowly transition out from Sharpshooters to just 2 sharpshooters and a lot of 4 costs and 5 cost units. So the best units that we can probably 2 star right now is Set and Yone. But with any units that we're given 2 star, we'll use for now. Okay, Static Shiv. Ooh, a chosen Slayer Samira. Definitely have to use this. We can go for a 3 star, but I want to show you guys how to uh, play our strongest board. So probably not going to go for it. I added the Trindamir to complete the Slayer Synergy. Give the Zeke's BT. Let's remake this, reforge. Okay, we have a Titans and a Dragon Claw. Let's all give it to Samira. So these are defensive items, but it still works well, especially when you have a legendary 2 cost. Look at the damage it does. 
Samira, like, even with the two defensive items, it just took out the opponent's entire board. Most damage. Let's pick up the Shen. So I'm constantly looking to upgrade my board. Any two star would be nice. And we can also, like, change our synergy and composition. Add, like, a Mystic. Okay, you want a pair? Oh, I didn't put the two star in time. Give it to Yone. It's probably much better to give it to like a sharpshooter units, but both Sivir as well as Samir at full items. Oh, it's just Samir. With the Dragon Call, he's not dying to this AP composition. He's able to survive and kill. Nice. Let's upgrade our board a little bit more. We don't need the Warlord as well as Keeper Synergy, so I'm gonna sell this Jarvin. Put in Mystic with the Shen as well as we get that Depth Synergy. Upgrade these Legendary Units, a 2 I'm gonna keep the Set as well as the Swain. In case they hit level 2, I can still use them, especially against these reroll or 3-star comps. Um, they all have a lot of health, and as I said earlier, Set can counter these compositions. So that's why I'm keeping on to the set. Okay, so I think the remaining decks are these AP compositions. So keeping the Mystic is going to be very important for us to win the lobby. Go for another Zeke's. Give it to the Zillion. Gain some more attack speed. So we're facing against this AP composition. What you want to do against the Soul is put a bait on the opposite side because Soul will ult to the opposite end. So right now it's probably not going to shoot its ult to the server side. Oh wait. <laughs> but it got drawn in by the Aatrox. I forgot to think about that. But all in all, we try to play our strongest board each and every round. And by playing our strongest board, it's an easy first and easy dub. Thank you guys for watching my video today and I hope to see you guys again.